What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today finally here to bring you guys the showcase of the brand newly released Sugo Fest exclusive on global Sober Mask. This guy was definitely one of my most anticipated Sugo Fest exclusives for the entire year. I was so looking forward to this guy. He is exceptional. So before we get into the showcase, talking about the unit himself in greater detail and just going through some reasonably difficult content, let's talk about what he actually does. What makes this guy so good? First of all, he's a quick unit and he's a powerhouse free spirit. So a very interesting class combination there. He has great stats across the board. I have him fully limit broke plus full rainbow this is literally maxed out this is as, as good as you can get from a sober mask character in the game his captain ability is going to be a rainbow 3.5 times attack and a rainbow 4.25 times attack if you have a tandem slot and then with the limit break plus he greatly increases the chances of you landing a tandem slot he makes them beneficial and he also reduces cooldowns by one at the start of the fight so already he's great but then he has a captain action now this captain action you you guys will see in this video how exceptional this is this captain action is just absurdly powerful allowing you to vanish for three turns and it means that when you are in that state you just completely avoid like any sort of debuff that targets him so that includes despair when he's the captain of course yeah obviously you have to use this as a captain anyway to get this captain action to activate um special rewind uh, bind whatever it is anything that targets him as a debuff he just completely avoids and then his normal attacks go through all defensive effects including base defense and adds 500 times his attack as timing bonus damage and you can apply this with both of the sober masks as well like this is just absolutely crazy so his captain ability is top tier very very good in terms of his special ability, 11 turn cooldown, changes all slots, including block, into tandem, and is a rainbow 1.75 times attack boost, and if you use his special in the same turn when you activate the special for the first time, you also get a 2.5 times attack boost instead. Now, that's obviously great, because when you use his special, you're just guaranteed a full board of tandem slots, like, it's just awesome. He is just a well-built character that is able to take down a lot of content. So, as for his potential abilities, or his um, sailor abilities, sorry, first one, he reduces his own cooldown by four turns every time another special is launched so if you use him as a sub you can get his special to launch twice in the same turn very easily and your whole team's tandem slots are counted as beneficial so when you use him as a sub and you use his special you're guaranteed to get a full board of orbs no matter what like <laughs> this guy is just way too good bro um as for his potential abilities his potential abilities are a little underwhelming he only has a 50 percent chance for 10 percent extra crit he has a pinch healing of 1.5 times recovery below 50 percent which is stock standard and he has 10 turn recovery bind which is uh, actually pretty good but his critical hit is a little underwhelming if this guy's crit was like a guaranteed or a 90 percent chance oh that would be so amazing because he already goes through all defensive effects and stuff with his normal attacks it would just make him even better than what he already is so that's the rundown of the character i think he's honestly one of the best sugo fest exclusives in the game and of course we've got the tier list coming up in the next co uh, couple of days so definitely look forward to that um but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the showcase so getting into this showcase video, we have a bunch of different clips to go through. The first one here is going to be against the brand new debut Colosseum being Colosseum Shutenmaru. Uh, Shutenmaru, I felt, was a lot easier compared to last month's Colosseum with Kiyoshiro. Uh, Shutenmaru, I felt, was much, much easier. I'm not just saying that just because, obviously, I pulled both of the new debuting legends, but uh, I just felt that it was a lot easier to actually beat. I just felt that uh, in, in last month's Colosseum with Hold'em and the Jack mini-boss stages, they were way more difficult. But uh, here we go with so mask against this Colosseum. Now, as for the subs, we do have Snake Man. He's really nice because we can get orb boost on multiple different stages. We also have the uh, Doflamingo and Treble Duel unit, which is very good because their switch ability, because they grant a uh, beneficial orb enable, we can enable it so that when we kill that Kanjuro on stage 3, we don't get given a badly matching native orb enable effect, so that makes a big difference. And of course, we can use his special ability on the final room in order to get a chain lock because we get 99 turns of chain gold vision reduction and then we've got edward weevil here for a uh two times attack boost as well as removing the attack down that gets inflicted on stage four and we've got sempi crocodile which is a character you don't see too often but he's actually pretty good because he's able to remove a lot of defensive effects off of the enemy and then if you fulfill the condition of having a certain amount of characters i think it's strength psi and quick characters he gives those characters a two times orb boost which again is going to help you clear this dungeon getting that extra damage output but of course you could just switch your units around use your specials in a different 
different order and then you'd be able to carry an orb boost into this stage but as you guys saw in the in stage four the sober mask captain action was coming in clutch against inuadashi and kinemon and that's definitely something you guys are going to be seeing throughout this video that captain action is just absurd being able to just bypass everything and deal guaranteed 1 million damage now the only real big negative to that particular effect is the fact that if you're inflicted with normal attacks only his tap timing bonus damage will not be inflicted basically so that does hinder his usability with his captain action but either way he is still able to bypass all defensive effects and deal a lot of damage with that so that really does still make a big difference but of course with normal attacks only eh, it does kind of suck normal attacks only just really screws over a lot of legends in the game and it's really annoying that it's such a thing it would be cool if there would be a future character that would release that would be able to either remove it or enable your characters to bypass it for a certain amount of time that would be pretty badass now the next clip you guys are seeing here is against raid big mom um i really wanted to get one sort of raid clip in here and out of all of the raids that were available out of the day that i recorded this particular video um this was the most difficult one and it actually shows off once again why sober mask is so good because we used his captain action before we moved into stage four so we avoided all of the special rewind that would have been inflicted on that particular boss stage which is really really cool um, as for the rest of this team here luffy and ace is a very important vital character for this team and you guys will see why once uh, we actually kill big mom for the first time and she revives we've also got v2 Rayleigh for a chain lock and the orb boost we've got luchi kaku for his uh chain boosting effect but that doesn't really matter but also because he's a two times attack booster to powerhouse slasher and fighter characters so mainly the brook and the kaku luchi here are going to be our heavy hitters on this first life of big mom and then as i said why luffy and ace is so important for this team is because when you actually kill big mom for that first First time she revives with like the full HP, she becomes a strength unit, and also she gives you a full orb bind for 99 turns to all characters. We can just use the switch ability of Luffy and Ace to remove that, use their special for the orb boost, and then use both of the Sober Mask specials to give you that 2.5 times attack boost and also that tandem orb on the Luffy and Ace unit. Now, of course, with that captain action being able to avoid that special rewind that we would have been inflicted on stage four is the whole reason why he's able to clear this particular raid so it makes a huge difference it really does and that's one of the key components of this unit and why he is considered one of the best in the game just being able to avoid a lot of effects and the fact that it lasts for three turns is obviously very very good as well so you can carry it into multiple different stages and if you know what's going to happen in the following stage you can prep for that like hypothetically if you're going to be inflicted with a heavy despair you can use it in the turn prior move into that new stage and you're not even going to be inflicted with despair so in certain situations you might not even need to bring a despair remover because sober mask just has the ability to get rid of that which is so good so sober mask is able to beat big mom and it's not the most ideal captain to use but it's just a proof of concept proving the fact that yes he's able to beat it because of his captain action now moving on to the next clip it's going to be against coliseum hody jones i don't consider coliseum hody to be the most difficult coliseum but it's a little bit challenging especially this particular stage here where you have all of the new fishman pirates and of course the captain action is going to come in clutch we're actually using the brand new kizuna okiku here to rewind our special cooldowns uh, after this special rewind that gets inflicted on this stage which is really cool and then we can use the captain action of Sanji to give us huge damage output that's going to be able to kill off these enemies much much quicker um, obviously we have Vivian Rebecca here enabling us to remove the rainbow and blue shield that gets inflicted we also have Zora and Luffy the new dual legend so yeah this is a heavy 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 pay to win team but of course I just wanted to show you how I decided to go through this particular dungeon. Um, for those of you who don't know what Luffy and Zoro does, he's an orb booster and a chain locker. He's an orb booster for slasher and free spirit characters. All the characters on this team are free spirit, though Vivi and Rebecca are only considered free spirit when Vivi is the character that's out. So, you know, give or take. Either way, you're getting a lot of damage output with this particular team. And as you can see, the captain action is just enabling us to kill off these little mob stages much, much easier just with doing the 1 million guaranteed damage on top of his normal attack damage as well so it makes a lot of difference and it really adds up 
Now, the actual final boss, Hody Jones, is a little tricky as well because he actually does revive, and when he revives, he does a lot of damage to your team. He does like 22,000 damage or so uh, to your team. So you really have to make sure you have a damage reducer or you just have enough HP to tank that hit upon revival. So with this particular team, we have a lot of strength units here. We've got the orb boost. We've got the chain lock. We have everything that we could possibly need. And of course, we're not using both Sobermark specials in the same turn. Because of that revive, we want to make sure that we're getting the guaranteed tandem slots on the revive turn as well. So that's quite important. You got to make sure you're managing how you're using that special. And yeah, you may think that you may always want to go for that 2.5 times attack boost. But in certain circumstances, it's not going to be a valid thing to do. Because of the revive, you need to use his special again to make sure you're getting those tandem slots because that is also really important. And even when you really think about it, with his captain effect and how strong it is, and if you just get that full board of tandem slots and you get the 1.75 times attack boost, in a lot of cases, that's going to give you more than enough damage than what you need. For more of the more recent Colosseums or recent raid bosses, you might have to, you know, play around with some different units in order to get, you know, the higher attack boost or whatever. But, you know, as long as you're using his special, like one of those specials, and then like another special, like as I showed just before, we use the Luffy and Zora special for the orb boost and the chain lock, and then one of the... Sobermar specials like that was already a huge amount of damage right there and able to kill off Colosseum Hody Jones pretty easily with the Sober Mask special. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next clip, which is going to be against Ambush Sengoku. It, he was difficult, extremely difficult upon his first release. I remember a lot of players were, ex were just struggling with this guy because one of the main components of this particular pieces of content that made it so tricky was on stage four. So stage four, you have to deal with the bosses that have specific colored orb barriers. But of course, Sober Mask has a really powerful captain action that just bypasses that stuff. So um, it's just awesome to see. Now, with this particular team, I actually was able to construct a team that actually had one of each color. So we are using the German Double Six ship. If you are able to use that ship with Sober Mask, it actually makes a huge difference because if you've got a tandem slot, it makes you, the ship a 1.7 times attack boosting ship, which is ridiculous. And on top of that, it also reduces cooldowns by two turns. So remember, double sober mask is already reducing it by one each. And then with sockets, then with the ship, yeah, you get it. It's a lot of uh, cooldown reduction and a lot of damage, right? So Sober Mask is just clearing content very fast and hitting very, very hard. Now, on this stage here, this is the stage where a lot of people would uh, kind of stuff up or get real stuck on uh, back in the day. But of course, with Sober Mask and all of the specials that we have active here, this is not going to be an issue. And then plus, when we move on to the final boss stage, we have access to characters such as Heart Charm, which can give us a conditional boost and reduce the enemy's defense to zero. We've got the Nami, which is color affinity and an orb boost. And we also have the Sober Mask special once again. So this is going to provide huge amounts of damage output, clearing Sengoku in one turn, not a problem. So we only have one more clip to show off in this particular video right here. So I'll let this team play out and we'll talk about the final clip once we get there. So the final clip is going to be against a Garp challenge, and this is going to be against the Marine Forge Shanks. This is Garp challenge number four, I think, the extra Garp challenge. Um, and this particular team obviously is extremely pay to win. And I feel like if you are a pay to play player and you have a lot of Sugo Fest exclusives, you are going to get the most out of Sober Mask. And that really goes for any legend, really. The more characters you have, the more you're going to be getting out of these certain legends, right? So the fact that you have a vast array of units to use with him, obviously, because he is a rainbow captain, uh, it really does make a huge difference. Uh, so with this team, we do have Luffy and Law for a powerful orb boost that we're able to use here. We use him twice during this run. We've got the legend Nami as well. We only use her once throughout the entire 
entire run on the final boss stage. You guys will see that once we get there. Vivi and Rebecca are exceptional here, allowing us to get consistent healing as well as giving us that 2.5 times chain lock every time we need it. Plus, the fact that Rebecca is there and she is a strength unit, that does help us out in one of the other mini-boss stages, which you guys will see soon. Uh, Wipe it and Marco. I don't actually think Wipe it and Marco are, like, super-duper necessary, but again, just the healing is really, really nice with this unit. Um, but I wouldn't say he's completely necessary, but he helps out a lot for sure. And then, of course, the double Sober Mask Captain action activated right there, so we can move on to the next stage, and we don't have to deal with the despair that would be inflicted normally on stage 4. Now, this particular stage has two different variations there's one with this and there's one with i think sengoku and garp is the other variation but you can see that there is damage threshold as well luckily for sanji he's able to bypass that and just ko both of these characters just like with two taps pretty much but of course we're going to be using the uh the switch effect to get us the 2.5 times chain lock both of these enemies i believe have about 1 million hp i think it's about 1 million well i know the blackbeard has about 1 million hp so because sober mask captain action guarantees us 1 million like it's just gg <laughs> just get through this stage super duper easy and pretty much the rest of the clip plays for itself and it talks for itself it's um pretty straightforward from here on out actually so sober mask coming in clutch destroying content as per usual but uh one thing that i didn't really talk about in this video was like what are the bad things about this unit and definitely if you come up against a boss that has a an interrupt regarding orb manipulation that is going to hinder this guy a lot because obviously you need to use his special to get your attack boost and to give you those tandem orbs so if the enemy reacts to an attack boost which there aren't too many of those but orb manipulation i would say is a relatively common special interrupt so that's going to be quite annoying if you are going to be using sober mask but uh obviously if you, you could use some sort of other situation if you Using like Luffy and Zoro as the captain, you can have this guy as a sub, and because Luffy and Zoro are the captain, when you use his special to get those tandem slots, there'll be one or slots instead, and obviously the enemy cannot react or, or change those orbs around. So that's a really cool way that you can just like manipulate those type of orbs. Uh, of course, that does rely on using a Luffy Zoro captain, obviously your captain or a friend captain, but that's just one way one way around it. Um, but other than that, I don't think there are too many situations where I'd say Sober Mask is not like an ideal legend to go through um the only real problem is is you got to have a vast array of characters in order to get the most out of him you got to have the right utility units you got to have the right boosters you got to have the right orb boosters the right color affinity boosters right uh so there's a lot of different situations where you're gonna need a lot of different units but that's the one of the great benefits i would say of sanji as well is the fact that he is a rainbow captain so you can literally use whatever you want with him it really just comes down to what the content is that you're going up against but uh, either way, that is going to wrap up this video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as we are trying to reach 50,000 subs. So hopefully you guys can help us get there. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video. Thank you, Sarah.